Now, President William Ruto has confirmed that the country's financial situation is worrying, given the huge debts that his government has inherited from the former administration. While asking Kenyans to tighten their belts to enable the government save more and pay its debts for the next three years, President Ruto said the government was only collecting 2.1 trillion shillings in taxes, which can only cater for paying salaries and debts. And as our senior political affairs reporter Chris Tairo now says, the president defended the existence of the city of Kitty, even as he promised to start another Kitty for senators to enable them carry out oversight roles over county governments. As per Article 132 of the Constitution, it was the first opportunity for President William Ruto to address the opening of the 13th Parliament, as well as get an opportunity to lay down his legislative agenda. And after inspecting his first guard of honor as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, it was time for business. In his speech, which was one of the shortest ever delivered in the bicameral parliament, the president used the opportunity to explain the state of the economy. The government members should never borrow to finance recurrent expenditure. This year alone, we budgeted to borrow 900 billion to finance both development and recurrent expenditure. You're all aware that our total collection is 2.1 trillion, which is only enough to pay debt and to pay salaries. Everything else we have to borrow. Further, the president stated that there is dire need for the government to start saving in a bid to clear outstanding debts. To this end, I have instructed Treasury to work with ministries to find at least 300 billion shillings in this year's budget so that we can remove it because the market cannot sustain the kind of borrowing we are doing as government. We are overtaxing trade and undertaxing wealth. We will be proposing tax measures that begin to move us in the right direction. The president also stated that there is need to restructure the NSSF fund to encourage the culture of saving. For every two shillings saved in the scheme, up to a maximum of 6,000 a year, the, the government will contribute a shilling for every two shillings saved by the private sector. Meaning that every Kenyan who will save 6,000 a year, the government of Kenya will give them 3,000 shillings. And it was a sigh of relief for members of parliament as the president defended the constituency development fund. Having served in parliament for 15 years, before and after the establishment of the national government CDF, I know the difference it makes is monumental. I believe there is a way CDF can be aligned to the tenets of the constitution. The president assuring members that his government was ready for checks and balances. I ask parliament to consider a mechanism in the standing orders to facilitate cabinet secretaries to articulate government agenda, explain policy and answer questions on the floor of the house to enhance executive accountability to the people of Kenya through their elected representatives. The president also promised Kenyans that soon his government will establish a hustler's fund to cater for those who live below a dollar a day. And after that speech by the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, members of the bicameral parliament will have an opportunity to debate and deliberate on his speech for the next seven days starting on Tuesday next week. Chris Dairuketi and News at Parliament Buildings in Nairobi. Now, President William Ruto inspected his very first guard of honor on Thursday at Parliament Buildings, where he made his very